We've had a suboptimal rep uh, recovery. We should be objective about that. The growth rates since the, uh, the beginning of the, of the recovery have been way low compared to historical standards. Something is wrong. And I'm not a big fan of infrastructure investments unless they're really needed. I mean, just making infrastructure investments uh, for the purpose of infrastructure investments is not necessarily the best allocation of capital. But I'm also for less government spending, and I think that's a, you, you need to combine the two together in the process, at least have a, a formula how that how that works out. But I, I really think the biggie is deregulation. You have to discipline central banks, and that's why I think you need some kind of rule that controls the money supply, which is different than how much debt the government chooses to take on. If you look at the U.S. economy, what we really ought to be worried about is the gro no growth rate in productivity, and at the end of the day, you can't consume more than you produce. So I think <coughs> Obamacare is very likely misallocated capital, <coughs> reduced real productivity, and we ought to we can have a better allocation and put more price pressure okay. on the medical industry, which will raise productivity. What I really want to do with the Federal Reserve is control it. You really have an incredibly powerful organization that there's no self-discipline for, and it's had a big impact on our economic volatility over the years. Would you eliminate that? I would that? definitely, if you could, eliminate Dodd-Frank, uh, do something about the EPA. I think those things alone would have a huge impact on economic growth. You know, risk-taking is what drives economic growth, and if we don't have any risk-taking, we're not going to have any economic growth, so we don't want to incent everybody to be overly cautious. We don't want people to do foolish things in terms of, you know, buying houses they can't afford, which we did incent them to do. Uh, but what we want to do is incent them to objectively look at the risk returns, and they'll be better off taking a, a reasonable level of risk over a long term. The repeal of Dodd-Frank, I don't think that'll happen politically, but Dodd-Frank can be radically revised. And, and I believe that Dodd-Frank has played the biggest single role, but a lot of other factors, the biggest single role in the lack of economic growth, particularly the creation of, of new businesses. There's a bill in Congress today called the Choice Act, which right. would be a radical improvement. Uh, right. And basically it says if a bank has a lot of capital, then it's right. out of the regulation, and that's fair. If you got a lot of capital, then you should be able to run your business. Yeah. On right. the regulatory side, I think the Dodd-Frank has been a disaster for the creation of venture capital small businesses. I grew up as a small business venture capital lender, and you can't do it anymore, and it's hurt the economic growth of the job creation and vitality that small businesses have. It really impacts uh, middle, middle income America. So. Right. I personally believe that Dodd-Frank has been extremely destructive to community banking. Now, I don't think that was the intention, but you know, I started as a small business lender. My bank was a community bank, and we grew into a bigger bank, but I, you know, I helped a lot of people get in business that created a lot of jobs, and I'm proud to do that. But we couldn't make those loans today. But thinking about how we undo the really negative parts of Dodd-Frank is really important to our economic growth.